Let's get ready to hero up with beads and comics, cause that's the plan. Creating something great, the symbol of Superman. Another great, iconic superhero design that you'll be able to make in no time. Look straight from the comics, but this is real, combined with the inspiration of beads and from the Man of Steel. A fast and fun creation, you'll find it almost insane. It's not a bird, nor a plane. So get ready for a tutorial that will hopefully fulfill your creative needs. Be sure to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's the list of everything you need to make the bead Superman symbol. The first thing you'll need is a straw, which will split in half, making it easier to add beads to. Watch closely as I carefully cut the straw in half. The straw will help keep the beads in place and the row of beads straight and aligned once added to the straw. Once you have carefully cut the straw in half, with the straw split down the middle, we'll add 15 red beads to that straw. Now that we have those beads on that straw, this is what it should look like. As you can see as well, the beads are aligned and secured. Let's go ahead and carefully cut off the extra ends of straw to keep the straw from showing to the sides. This is exactly how it should look. With these 15 red beads on the straw and the ends of straw cut, we're now ready to add the string. Let's take 10 feet of string and we're going to run that string through all of those beads. Watch closely as I guide the string through these 15 red beads. Once you have that string all the way through those beads, you're going to take both ends of string, matching them up, pushing those beads toward the center of the string. This will ensure that we have the same amount of string to use on both sides when creating rows. With the 15 red beads in the center of the string, this will be the first row of the pattern. With the first row finished, we are now ready to create the next row. To make the next row, we will once again use a straw that will split in half in order to fit the beads on the straw. Now, let's go ahead and add the beads to the straw, which will consist of one red bead, two yellow beads, followed by nine red beads, one yellow bead, two red beads, one yellow bead, and a red bead on the end. Here is how it should look in this order when added to the straw. Be sure to cut off the ends of the straw to keep the straw from showing to the sides. Once your row of beads are all set and the ends of the straw are cut, we are now ready to use the string again. We'll take one end of the string and run that string through all of those beads. Once you have that string through those beads, we'll take the other end of the string and we're going to run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Watch closely as I guide the string through these beads. Once you have both ends of the string through all of those beads, with the string coming out of each end, you'll pull both ends of the string until the beads reach the top, bringing the rows of beads together. This is how you'll create additional rows for this pattern. We will continue using these same steps when creating rows. Let's review the steps once again on how to create a row. Remember, you'll take a straw that's been split through the middle and add your beads to the straw. With those beads on the straw, you'll carefully cut off the ends of the straw to keep the straw from showing through the sides. Now that you have the beads on the straw and the straw ends are trimmed, you'll take one end of the string and run it through that line of beads. Again, watching closely as I guide the string through this row of beads. Now that we have that string through those beads, You'll take the other end of string and run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. When you have the string all the way through those beads with each end of string sticking out of the ends, you'll pull both ends of string until the beads reach the top, bringing the rows together. 
So just keep repeating these steps, follow the pattern, and continue creating additional rows. Remember to take your time when assembling each row, being sure to follow and place the beads in the correct order as shown at the top of this video, pulling both ends of the string evenly to ensure you have the same amount of string to use on both ends, using a straw for each row of beads to keep the beads straight and aligned, carefully cutting off the ends of the straw to keep the straw from showing through the sides. Watching this visual reference, you will see that this pattern should be pretty easy to create, with its simple design of red and yellow rows that make up the image of the Superman symbol. Of course, there are always different colors and combinations you can make for your creation. Will you go bizarro and change the red to purple, or use pink for Supergirl, or maybe gray and silver to be the true man of steel? The possibilities are almost endless. Leave a comment below letting me know what colors you decide to choose. Once you finish the 13th row, the 14th row is just one red bead, which doesn't require using a straw. It's just using the traditional steps by adding the bead to one end of the string, taking the other end of the string, and running it to that bead as well, going in the opposite direction, pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Once you finish the 14th and final row, you'll tie both ends of the string together with a knot that's tied nice and tight to keep all of the beads locked in place. Be sure your knot is secured to ensure that everything stays together. Hopefully with this visual reference, you are able to see that tying the string in a knot isn't too difficult. As there are many ways to tie the knot, just go with what works best for you. With the knot tied, you'll carefully cut off the tie loose ends of string. From this point, you can attach a lanyard hook in between the first and second row of beads so that you are able to hang this from many things. Now that the hook is attached, your Superman bead symbol is now complete. And there you have it, a super bead design that was fun to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. So what do you think about these superhero designs? Feel free to let me know. Plus, if there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you are new, or you just haven't already, don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to fulfill your creative needs. Until next time, it's a bird, it's a plane. Thanks for watching Turbo Beats.